Hey guys, I'm Mel Diamond 86 and welcome to another episode of the Marcelo Flores career mode here on FIFA 22. Uh, so we had a difficult episode last episode. Um, obviously we played Chelsea, played City, had a couple of really hard games. Um, but we're going to go into a game against Burnley who, you know, is tough in a bit of a different way. They're always a bit of physical, they're always a bit defensive, it's a bit hard to break them down. Um, we're going to try our best, obviously, um, going into the objectives, obviously not losing the game, uh, getting a 60% conversion rate, okay, and uh, 7.5 um, rating, so uh, we're going to try and get them done, obviously we're trying to get to 65 rating, which we're quite close to now, uh, and obviously getting an assist or a goal and that is going to help us quite well, so yeah, I mean this game is always tough, uh, Burnley is always tough even in FIFA, um, and we almost get a really good chance there, but obviously we missed. Uh, going into in the 20th minute, we're going to try and slip in, I believe it's Richardson, um, who's we seem to have formed a quite decent partnership with now. We have quite a decent run into the box, but obviously we shoot that wide, which is annoying, but hell, yeah, I'm still, still 64 rated player, so um, it is what it is, we're not going to do too well. And then uh, what a goal, uh, we didn't really have any part in that goal, um, but um, I believe that's Saka scoring a really good goal. Um, I think we got the pre assist or something, pre pre assist. I don't know, we were involved in the build up, but um, not enough to get any benefits from it, I think. But that was a really good finesse shot into the top far corner. A uh, really good shot by Saka. Hopefully, he doesn't get sold in the game because obviously um, we're not in control of the transfers, so we can't keep players that I think we should be keeping. Uh, but yeah, so 1-0 against Burnley is really good, especially away. We're going to try and hold that because obviously um, we don't want to go down against Burnley because they're quite defensive, like I said, quite physical, a bit difficult to break down even in FIFA. So uh, being 1-0 up at the moment is actually quite um, a good result for us at the moment. So we want to kind of keep uh, the league going as long as we can. Um, so yeah, trying to get into a decent position, terrible first touch, and then a foul, which didn't really help. I was getting quite frustrated at that point, uh, getting the first yellow card of our career, which isn't great, but um, yeah, the terrible first touch didn't uh, didn't help, and then obviously got frustrated trying to get the ball back. We're going to go into half-time 1-0 uh, up, which is not too bad, to be fair. Uh, I was just going to try and crack on to the second half and hopefully... Um, get a decent, uh, get another goal because then we should be safe after 2 0. Um, we get a great pass in there, but obviously you get blocked, which is annoying. Um, I find, I think I've mentioned it in a couple of episodes back, that um, player career mode, you do get your shots blocked a lot. Um, very, very strange. I can't really um, explain it. Uh, but we get a really decent ball here. Uh, I was thinking, cool, let's just go into space, but they get back really quickly. Again, the shot's blocked. Um, that's the good thing about Burnley, or the bad thing about Burnley really is that they, they're very defensive. They'll, they'll get back as soon as they can. Um, so one minute you're in space, you take a couple of touches, and then suddenly you're surrounded by like five Burnley players. We slip in this player right here, which is a really good pass. And then oh, he just smacks it into the box, which I was in the head sitting home. That's pretty much hopefully going to be um, a 2 0 victory because uh, we're celebrating like we've won the cup, which is awesome. But you know, away against Burnley, we, obviously, we absolutely need to be winning this game. So um, we're sixth in the league as well. So we kind of want to stay in the top five or top four. So, um, but he absolutely smacks this. And then it's really good to get ahead of him. Uh, really good goal. Again, we didn't really have much to do with it. One goal in five games for Rotals as well, which is not good. He's not really been converting any of the chances that I've been making for him. Um, if we clicked a bit better, I think I'll probably have two or three more assists, but there you go. Decent win, but back of the ball there. Um, obviously, I'm just going to try and run as fast as I can. Bit of a heavy touch there, though. But like I said, if we and Richards clicked a bit better, I'd be able to score a bit more goals. But um, yeah, 2 0 full time against Burnley, and that's absolutely um, a really good result for us. So let's go into. Now the objectives, obviously we want to check out the objectives, see if we um, achieve them or not, because obviously achieving them helps us with our manager liking us, so, and then picking us for the next game, which we want to keep that quite high. Um, so yeah, we've got one out of two, which is not really good, but um, 
So we're going to have our very first Carabao Cup game here guys and we just noticed that we've got two goals and an assist in five games which is absolutely amazing for a 64 way player. Excuse me, um, so um, yeah we're doing quite well at the moment. We want to check out the objective zone, team possession and all the other stuff. It's too quick for me to see. Hopefully you guys can pause here and have a look. Um, we're going to try and I think one of them is passing 15 times or something silly but um, yeah. Um, five games, two goals and, and assists so far is actually really good, especially in the Premier League, especially when we've had, oh, briefly slip, slept in right there and then obviously getting a really good goal um, in the first 11 minutes, which is absolutely amazing. So that's, uh, what, three goals and assists now in uh, six games, which is awesome. Um, always amazing when we score. Cabo Cup's the one tournament, I think, where Flores, I think, realistically, in real life, can actually play. It's just unfortunate that he, um, it was in the under 18s where we were in the Carabao Cup and then we got knocked out before we got into the under 20s. Under 23, sorry. Um, otherwise, I think the Carabao Cup is a perfect tournament for him to play in. We're going to jump into 17 minutes to try, to, you know, try and get the ball as often as we can, try and make some stuff happen because, you know, the more control we have over the game, the more likely we are scoring. <laughs> um, but again, the shot gets blocked, again, the shot gets blocked, and then we score the rebound, which is absolutely amazing. I think that's Richardson again, so. Really, really don't like that celebration. I don't know what that celebration is all about, but let me know in the comments if you know. Um, but yeah, so um, we're kind of, well, I suppose we have one of the shots that were rebounded, but we didn't really have any input in that goal again. Uh, but 2 0 up in the first half is absolutely amazing, especially against Wigan, um, especially the fact that we want to go quite far in this tournament, who's um, I think top four and a cup, a cup, a domestic cup, sorry would be a decent result for us in real life as well as um, in this game, in the same at least. Uh, obviously we're not going to do that in real life now because we're not in any of the best clubs now, but we should still get top four hopefully so. Um, <clears throat> but staying in this game, obviously 2 nil up um, against Wigan is exactly where we want to be. Is where we should be, I mean Wigan, no, respect, no disrespect to them, but we should be beating them quite comfortably, so um, we just Pretty much our main focus right now, like I've said, is basically uh, doing well in games, getting high ratings, trying to, um, the ball went out of play there and I was really annoyed with him for that, it's like my teammate could have quite easily have kept that in, he didn't. But if I unexpectedly find myself in space there, I had a long shot just to, just to see what would happen, but unfortunately um, it wasn't meant to be. Flores actually has really good shots. Um, in this game, even despite being so low rated and so young, he has a really good shot on him, so he's got a really good eye for goal. So, hopefully, when he gets to mid 70s, high 70s, um, he's going to be unstoppable, really. Um, but yeah, like I said, what we're trying to focus on is getting good results, scoring, assisting. Um, not, it's not so much about the club and where the club is and whether we're winning or anything. Uh, um, winning cups or anything. Uh, really good there, really good power from Mercati, I think it is, to uh, win the ball back there and score a goal. So 3-0, which is absolutely amazing. Again, we, I think we may have got this hit in that. I can't really remember. Um, I think we passed it through to him. Yeah, we did. We passed it through to him. So we did get an assist as well. So got an assist in this game is actually amazing, especially as our first Carabao Cup game. Um, but yeah, we move on. We're going to try and obviously get a decent rating because, you know, like I've been trying to say, um, it's all about advancing our rating, get higher up, um, get to the 70s. Um, and then, you know, if things aren't going well with us, we'll maybe move to a bigger club like you know, Barcelona or something. Uh, but yeah, 3 0 victory in the first Carabao Cup game, which is absolutely amazing. Our good form is continuing. Let's get back into the Premier League. So yeah guys, we're going to be going straight into the Premier League now, um, after we've obviously checked out the objectives, because we always want to check them out, um, and they obviously got 2 out of 3, which is not too bad, manager loves us, so you know, it's all good. Um, this is the big one guys, the North London Derby, in real life we had a really good game, we, we dominate them from start to finish. Um, it might be a little bit tough in this game, um, obviously Kane and Son are really good in FIFA, so we have to keep them quiet without being able to control our defence. Um, Partey there is warming up. Um, we're just going to have a look at our objectives, obviously, and try and see if we can obtain them. 
Because again, we absolutely need to win this game. Not only because it's a derby, but obviously we need to score a goal and assist so we can keep growing. Um, we're going to kick off here, guys, and um, well, they're going to kick off in, at home in the Emirates. Um, but here are the um, objectives: 15 passes, team possession, and um, get a 7.5 rating. Should be easy enough, hopefully, if we can get a goal or two. Um, like I said, it's going to be difficult in this game, um, and they get off to a really good start here in the 26th minute. Uh, Sun, pretty much the best player on their team, real life and in FIFA. Um, and he was, he was a menace from pretty much this whole game, to be honest with you. The whole half, he was just trying to defend against him, trying to get out of our area, and try and get into theirs, and try and get into a good attacking position. Um, but like I said, right here, I'm just focused on being uh, on the, in a good position, and there we go, we get slotted in, and we get a really good shot. I like that with the players, I do score a lot of goals with that, where I'm on the right hand side and I basically shoot across goal to the left hand corner or yeah it's the left hand corner and um, score a whole bunch of goals all like that and hopefully um, it becomes a bit of a trademark. Um, I'm a bit annoyed that his celebration, his flip is not in in the game because I think you know, it would be so sick just to watch him do that in the game after he scores. He's a really good goal, I think Luis could have done better but he, he is like 48 years old in this game so um, he might not be as good as he normally is. Um, we're going to jump straight pretty much to the end of the half now and then Sun goes and does that. Uh, I really don't know. I thought it was offside, to be honest with you. Um, we have a replay here because of the whole angle. I thought it was offside. Um, I just don't know how he managed to get a goal into that. Sun's just a menace in this game. Um, so yeah, going into the half time 2-1 down wasn't on, in the plan. <laughs> um, but we're going to try and move and hopefully get a another goal and um, you know trying to not lose this game because we, we really don't want to be losing it ever to, to Spurs you know um, you know they're a bottom club and we don't want them to get any good but we should have scored from that um, uh, Flores is quite strong but um, he wasn't strong enough to hold the defender off there the defender kept, uh, came up to us quite quickly um, I didn't have enough time to um, there's Kane fouling me, so he got a yellow card, which is absolutely amazing because he does a lot of fouls and barely gets any yellow cards. Uh, so it's nice to see that he does in the game at least, in FIFA anyway. Um, it's not looking good for us right now. I'm always in my corner, in corners, I'm always on the out wide because I know that it's just going to get deflected in the first man, and like it has here, and then we just knock it back in. Um, I didn't ask it to chip. Done a white chip, um, trying to get into a decent position. We really could save from Loris. Um, like I said, I was taking the McAvoy earlier, but you know he's, he comes up with a decent save here and there. We get another corner again. It goes out. Um, I didn't know really how to get it, but try it for a long shot there. But obviously blocked again, um, and then blocked again. Just blocked all the time. Like every time you shoot in this game, as a career, as a player, career mode. Um, your shot's going to get blocked by 90% of the time, and you just have to accept it, I guess. Um, but we move on, and it's going to the, pretty much the end of the game here. Um, nothing really is happening, we're just passing, wasting time. Should have just passed for me, I was asking them to pass to me, but it is what it is. Uh, we get disappointed to one loss, but again, it's not really about the team, really. It's more to do with us, and we got a goal in this game, so um, let's just check out our objectives. Uh, yes, yeah, so two out, one out of two isn't good. Uh, we got a decent match rating, which is great. But the manager still loves us, so there's nothing too much to worry about. So yeah, we got a game against Brighton coming up now, guys. Um, another tough team is you know in the way that Burnley are tough. You know they can be quite defensive on this game, uh, quite difficult to break down. Um, they're not the most attacking threat kind of team. Uh, here's the objectives, by the way. Uh, 7.5 rating, 15 passes, one goal, or assist. Um, it's doable, especially against this Brighton team. Uh, you know they can be quite defensive. This, these are one of the teams in FIFA where um, that you're either going to do really well against them, and you know nothing can happen in that first half. By the way, guys, uh, you're either going to do really well against them, or you just can't break them down, or they nick a late goal or whatever. Uh, going to the 55th minute, we get the ball here. Really good tackle, but Flores just doesn't have the stamina, unfortunately. I made the wrong decision to go inside there, and I tried to go out, but it didn't really work. 
Um, we managed to get the shot off, but the keepers always going to save that. Um, managed to get the ball back, but again, the ball is just going to get blocked. So, yeah, that was pretty much our only chance of the second half, to be honest with you guys. Um, you know, by this point, we're just trying not to concede, and then we go and concede. But they are actually offside, so typical. One of these FIFA 22 games where you could be dominating the team, and then they just go and get a 90th minute winner, but fortunately he was offside, so it's going to be a draw. Which is absolutely fine, but I mean, a point is better than nothing. Um, we're just going to go straight to the objectives, and hopefully we fulfill them. We didn't get a goal or assist one. Maybe the um, rating one, maybe? But we'll have to wait and see. Now, unfortunately, we only get the one. Uh, 15 passes, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the manager still loves us, so it's not too bad. But we're going to go here and go straight into the game against Palace now, guys. In the last game of the episode. Um, in real life, Flores, at youth level, Flores loves playing against Palace. He scores quite a lot of goals against them. I think they might be the team he scored against most. Uh, in the youth level, anyway. So hopefully that can translate into the senior team. Um, again, Palace is a decent team, um, and you never know what you're going to get. Uh, we're just trying to focus on ourselves, trying to get some goals and assists, trying to get our rating up, 7.5 rating, two shots on target, the dribble with 35%. It's doable, uh, very, very doable. So if we get a couple of goals or a goal, then you know the rating is going to be above 7.5 anyway. So um, yeah, we just want to make sure we get those two shots on target. <laughs> Yeah, it's every, every corner now, that pretty much what happens. Uh, just gets knocked out, we get the ball and then knock it back in. We're just trying to get into a decent area, to be honest with you guys. Um, we just can't seem to get the ball. Uh, going to pretty much towards half time now, we're knocking out wide Saka, um, a bit too wide. We try to um, get into the box again, but the ball just gets taken off us, and that's pretty much half time. Yeah, go straight into the second half. Um, we just, you know, the stamina is going quite low, but uh, we're just trying to get into a decent position because we kind of really need to get that goal um, or get a goal, whether it's us or whether it's the team. But we get into a really good position there, and a really good volley, and unfortunately, it's just straight at the keeper and we don't score. That would have been a really good goal. Um, another another corner here, well, again, uh, gets knocked out. Um, we're going to go for it, but we actually leave it for our teammate. Because I wanted to get back into the box. I wanted to score in this game. So we're just going to try and hover around. Wait for a good pass. Um, and then we get tackled. Which is annoying. But it is what it is. Um, pretty much by this point. I'm thinking you know, we're just going to get the draw. It is what it is. Two draws isn't too bad. Um, but we get to a decent position here. And it gets a shot off. And it scores arguably the match winning goal. Um, really good position just one pass to defender get into space have a shot the keeper's not going to save that uh, really good goal really happy with that um, hopefully it is the match winning goal because I've obviously um, that will boost our rating up and it's what we need that's what I'm obsessed with at the moment is trying to get first to 65 rated and then get into the 70s so four goals in eight games is absolutely amazing I think he's got a couple of assists as well which is awesome um, but that's pretty much the end of this game, guys. I'm just going to end up with the sub here. But, um, yeah, I really hope you're enjoying the series. I mean, like I say, after every episode, I enjoy making the series. I enjoy playing as Flores. I enjoy making this, the episodes. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. Um, I hope it's something new that you might not have seen before. But we're knocking, um, I think that was in Ketia there. Unfortunately, you couldn't get the second goal, but... Uh, we are going to get the win, guys. Um, we're just going to check out the objectives while we're doing that. I just want to say thanks again. I really appreciate it. really uh, appreciate you guys watching like episode by episode. Um, if you do like it, please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, I really do appreciate it. And uh, comment, if you want to comment in the comments below, do so. Because um, I always reply to them. So it's nice to have a chat with you guys. We get all three objectives, by the way, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned because episode 5 is coming. So um, yeah, take it easy guys. Have a good week and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.